remember those days when trying to find Waldo was the hardest thing on your to-do list. Yeah, well, it still seemed the case for Randy Olsen, PhD student at Michigan State University. Uh, he found the ultimate way to find Waldo. Um, Randy, tell us, it all started with you being snowed in, right? Yeah, exactly. We had a fairly tough winter here in Michigan. And one weekend when I had plans to go out, we ended up getting snowed in. So I decided, well, why don't I try to do something productive this weekend instead of playing video games or something? So that's when I decided to find the optimal path to find Waldo. Um, and basically, I came up with this idea because I was searching around online and I ran across this Slate.com article that said that they found the definitive path to find Waldo. And now I don't have a PhD in, in finding Waldo or anything like that, but I knew that we could that we could devise a better strategy. Okay, so for the computer noobs, can you explain as easy as possible how did you develop this strategy? Yeah, so Slate actually did the sort of the hard lifting for it, and they they found all of the points where Waldo uh, appeared in the main series of Where's Waldo books, which is what you could see there. So basically, from there, I had to make an algorithm that could search for every single point that Waldo could possibly be in the shortest amount of time possible. So basically what you're seeing here is my algorithm at work trying to find the shortest path between every single possible uh, location that Waldo could be in. <clears throat> um, that when, so when it finished after about five minutes of running and testing out all these different uh, ways to look for Waldo, um, that's when we came up with this last final path. So what is the final path? So basically what my algorithm found is that you want to start on the bottom left, which is where I sort of circled and said start there, because that's where Waldo is concentrated pretty highly. Um, and then you want to move towards sort of the, the center upper part of, of, the, of the illustrations there, um, because he's also concentrated there. And then you want to sort of move to the right from there and then down to the bottom right. If you follow that path, you're, you're almost guaranteed to find Waldo within 10 seconds. If he's not there, then you kind of need to turn to a more random search. So for most pictures, or actually for all pictures, it does work? For, for the most of them, yes. Um, so I, I had actually lost my childhood copies of these books, but uh, the U.S. publishers of Where Is Waldo were very generous and actually sent me a full copy of them. So I worked through the first book, and I was actually able to find Waldo in all of the pages in under 10 seconds. Thank you for sharing this amazing story. For you guys at home, if you want to find Waldo or see more videos, go to interconnection.com. Bye-bye.